today's video, we are going to ask Bard, which is Google's AI, how to get listings for realtors. Let's get started. Well, getting a real estate license is not hard. It's actually fairly easy. Um, it just takes some time, perseverance, and um, light studying. The most difficult part you'll have as a real estate agent or realtor um, is getting listings. So let's see what Google says. There we go. So here's some tips to get listings as a real estate agent. Number one, build your network. Two, become an expert in your market. Be proactive, offer a competitive commission, provide excellent service. Here are some additional tips. Create a strong online presence. Get involved in your community. Stay up to date on the latest trends. This is on the bottom. Getting listings can be challenging, but it is definitely possible with hard work and dedication. By following these tips, you can increase your chances of success. Now, you may be wondering, as a real estate agent, um, realtor, say lender, um, whatever you are in your career field, you can ask Google, ChatGPT, all of this stuff, some basic questions like, write me a um, introduction, write me a professional introduction. So a lot of tools can be outsourced to these um, AI tools and hopefully down the road they become even more evolved and advanced to tack on more complex problems. Um, as of now, you can ask it questions and it will give you answers. So it's pretty nice how you can do this. Let's go ahead and go back into more in depth what is said. The most important thing you can do as a real estate agent is build a strong network of people who know, like, and trust you. This includes your family, friends, colleagues, and anyone else you come into contact with. Let them know that you are a real estate agent and that you're available to help them with their real estate needs. Now, quick correction. You don't want to actually be a real estate agent. You want to be a realtor. Why? Because as a realtor, you are tied to a board of realtors and you actually will have access to the thing called the MLS, known as the Multiple Listing Service. If you're just a real estate agent, that means you've passed the test, you're not on a board, you're not signed up with your local board or realtors, then you will not have access to the MLS. And that is a big deal because the MLS is the biggest database that allows agents to post listings on behalf of their client so that they can show, hey, we have a house for sale, um, here you go, it's all over, it's all spread out. Um, is anyone interested in buying it? And then what would happen is you would find um, an agent on there. Uh, usually they will reach out to you and say, hey, is your listing at ABC property still available? My client would like to see it, they're interested, or however they um, wanna do that. Um, you don't just have the MLS, by the way. You can post on other platforms, like you may post on Facebook, or you may post on uh, Craigslist, wherever you want and that they will allow you to post your listings. But just as a quick notice, note, um, you want to be a realtor, not just a real estate agent. Um, you can still operate as a real estate agent, but it's definitely limited and um, definitely quite more challenging because if a client says, hey, I want to find properties in the zip code of 76449 or whatever, if you don't have access to MLS, you may not be able to create an automated search to show you the properties at 76449. Just a quick note. The more you know about your local real estate market, the more valuable you'll be to potential sellers. Make sure you're familiar with the current market conditions, the different neighborhoods, and the types of homes that are available. That is definitely true. Be proactive. Don't wait for potential sellers to come to you. Instead, reach out to them and let them know that you're available to help them sell their home. In my own neighborhood, um, there was somebody that was trying to sell their house and I was not proactive and they used someone else. So I missed the opportunity. You can do this by cold calling, door knocking, or attending local events. Um, utilize social media, utilize your apps. If you have Instagram, say, hey, I'm a real estate, I'm a realtor in Arlington, Texas, wherever you're at. And um, if you need help buying or selling real estate, please give me a call, put your number or something like that. Um, Another tip, definitely probably get an office number. You can use your personal number, but I recommend you get an office number. Um, most of the time, if you are with a broker, you're gonna use their number 
or something, you may have a designated office number so that you can keep work and personal life separated. Another way to do this is get two phones, have one for business and have one for personal and only give the business number out. Um, a lot of people do that. The Kevin O'Leary guy, he does that. And um, that's not a bad idea because um, you want to keep that separate. Offer a competitive commission. In today's competitive market, it is important to offer a competitive commission to potential sellers. This will show them that you are serious about helping them sell their home and that you're not just trying to make a quick buck. That is true. You can adjust your commission and make it more competitive. That's totally up to you. There is a lot of gray area with that, but uh, more power to you if you want to cut your commission. I recommend uh, probably not doing that, but that's up to you. Provide excellent service. Once you've listed a home, it is important to provide excellent service to the seller. This includes being responsive to their needs, keeping them up to date on the market, and negotiating on their behalf. If you provide excellent service, the seller is more likely to refer you to their friends and family when they're ready to sell their next home. So why is it important that you provide excellent service? Well, here's one thing. If you sell a house to one person, and they enjoy working with you. You're easy to work with. You show up to their um, meetings on time. You show to you show the property um, on time. You're professional. You listen to what they want. You actually um, act on it. You don't just pretend you're listening and then forget. Stuff, little things like that, makes a huge difference. And really, what most realtors and real estate agents are horrible at is they do not answer their phone. Okay, they just don't. They, they they, don't answer their phone. And I get it, as a property manager myself, it gets very old getting a lot of phone calls. Most of the time, we want to say, I'll call you back later, I'll call you back later, because you don't want to get stuck on the phone. You have so many people and only a certain amount of time in the day to get to certain things. So it's a lot faster having someone text you because they get straight to the point. There is no um, you know, messing around. And that's true if you're in property management, um, but Whatever field you're in, it's definitely, if it's a service-based um, career, you're going to have to answer your phone or reply extremely fast. So if you're not going to answer your phone, go ahead, send it a voicemail. But you need to at least have a text that says, I'll call you back, or hey, what's up? Something like that. Um, because if you don't respond quickly, once you don't answer your phone as a real estate agent, um, that client is going to call someone else right it's just like a um it's just like a shopping for a restaurant there's so many realtors it's not a um small market it's a very saturated market with real estate agents there's only, there's so many real estate agents compared to um, houses for sale so when you don't answer your phone i guarantee you that other that person is just going to call someone else um, because there is someone else waiting and ready to answer the phone because you weren't so definitely answer your phone Here's some additional tips. Make sure your website is up to date and that you're active on social media. Um, this is a big one. A lot of times people make these websites and they say, go to my website, schedule an appointment. And they go to the website, the GoDaddy website, and it doesn't work, right? Because they didn't pay the renewal fee. Um, another thing on social media, they say, oh, just DM me on social media. They make all these videos and all this stuff and they want to look like they got it going, but they don't respond to their social media. So r responding is very, um, important. There's a saying that says there's the fortune is in the follow-up. This will help you reach a wider audience and make yourself more visible to potential sellers. Here's another thing. Get involved in your community. Volunteering your time to local organizations is a great way to meet new people and build relationships. These relationships could lead to new listings down the road. So that's not a bad idea if you get involved in a local thing and it's volunteer work. I'm sure if you're doing it as a volunteer and you're not charging, maybe they'll let you put up your signs, banners, or whatever, saying, hey, I'm a realtor and I would, um, you know, if you would like, please buy or sell with me, you may be able to do that. So that's cool. Other things is latest trends. The real estate market is constantly changing, so it's important to stay up to date on the latest trends. This will help you better serve your clients and give them the advice they need to make informed decisions. Getting listings can be challenging, but it's definitely possible with hard work and dedication. By following these tips, you can increase your chances of success. The best thing I would say for anyone out there, including myself, uh, is to watch videos on YouTube 
on um, how to get listings, how to do this, how to show a property. There's so many people out there with so much helpful advice on YouTube um, and you can learn it for free just by taking the time to watch these videos. If people talk too slow, just turn up the speed on the video and you can get through a lot of videos quickly. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like, and definitely subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.